Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to a brand new episode of Good Children. You know exactly what to do. Rate us five stars across all platforms. Um, Apple Podcasts, write a nice message. Write a nice um, message. We've been being beat up. We're being beat up right now. So we could use someone to cover up the negative reviews so that we can just forget about them and like move on with our lives. And you can also find us on Patreon. We are on Patreon. It is $7 a month. You are getting one extra episode per week. If I didn't have this space I don't think I would have healed the way that I have oh yeah like for us when we speak about these things and we think about it in real time and then we process it for the podcast like that's a realization I wouldn't have come up with if I wasn't talking to you directly this also does force us to be together to have those conversations you are honestly getting newsletters you're getting newsletters now we have we hired an intern we hired an intern and that intern's initials are AI um what's new with me, nothing much. I feel like this week has flown by, but I yeah. have only been thinking about what's happening today. Same. Like, I woke up today kind way. of a little nervous, I'll say. I wasn't just nervous smidge. until we sat in this room. You're kidding. Yeah. Heart rate pounding. Of course. It's caffeine like, pounded. Oh my God, caffeine pounded. Yeah, absolutely. Yerba mate. I haven't had a yerba mate in... We gotta bring them back. All of the listeners have realized. We got a review that was like, they're just not funny anymore. And like, I was like, it's because we don't have your Ramates. Like, I really do believe that's the reason. Wow, we're just yeah, we're just not funny anymore. Oh no. Yeah. That ruined my entire. It ruined. It ruined my day yesterday. Oh, it was recent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The zero star. It was like a three star. There's also like a one star review from a few weeks ago that was like, I would never listen to this podcast because of how much I hate Joe. So you're fine. Good children. Wait, wow. it was, like, wow. was good. We kind of ate. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to Good Children, the podcast where hosts Joe Hedges and Andrew Muscarella reflect on our 22 years of friendship growing up in the late 2000s. Early. You. Growing up in the late 2000s, early 2010s. And all of the nostalgia, trauma, and pop stars that go along with it. We are going to be in the studio today with the one and only Slater. Slater. She just wrapped up a tour with Toflo, which to I loop. unfortunately missed. And I wish I had seen it. And she's heading into her new era, just like us. We're just, uh, very similar is what we're realizing. Yeah, we're really similar. Um, her new album, Starfucker, is coming out later this year, later this fall. The album, if you've heard someone say this, would you not assume they were talking about us? It's inspired by Hollywood starlets, sex, fame, retrofuturism, 80s interior design, <gasps> luxury, yeah. the Chateau Marmont, martinis, celebrity obsession, dreams and delusions, yeah. vanity, femme yeah. fatales, and infidelity. Joe, That I sounds mean, a lot like the exact description of the Good, good Children, Children podcast. podcast. Oh, oh my God. How, How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm, yeah, I'm thrilled that you're yeah. here. I'm it's, thrilled it's to be here. honor to have you. Oh, honor to be here. I love this podcast. That's something that I would like to talk about for one <laughs> second, yeah. is the fact that you actually know who we are. Yeah. That's crazy to me. Of course. Well, I mean, I feel like I think the first I found you guys like popped up on my TikTok and then I just started okay. listening episode per episode. I'm very much like a put something on while I get my like get ready, get my day together yep. kind of girl. Right. Yep. And yeah, just like it's it's like hanging with friends. You guys are so funny. Stop. I love to media in action. Do you guys listen back to your own episodes? I edit. Yeah. So I hear it like in real time and then I'm like I could never hear this again Joe will edit and then he'll be like I can't talk to you right now I've just been hearing yeah. your voice for like three hours <laughs> I'm like, like, please okay. don't even look at me in this moment completely get um, it but I think the feeling is mutual when it comes oh to your God. music like Thanks. I've been listening to you I feel like since at least I feel like when mine was first kind of like oh, wow. on the sound waves I just remember like my like Twitter you days you made a splash like I ah. remember everyone was talking about Slater and it's amazing that like You've only gone up since then. Oh my God, thank you. And I guess we're freaking out. Yeah, like you what really do. You are kind of a queen of the gays. Oh my God, are. thanks. And I feel like you also <laughs> have this Y2K, like, nostalgia attachment yeah. to kind of like a lot of your work and what you focus on. For sure. Where does that come from? I feel like I just was like a, like, child of the internet. Mm -hmm. When I was little, like, my sister's like four years older than me, I have one older sister. And she was very, like, would always show me what was cool. And, like, mm -hmm. MySpace songs, she'd be like, this is, like, this, like, Jeffree Star song. And yeah. I was, like, always 
like I was too young for certain cultural things, but she always showed them to me. So I was like in on it in a way, mm. like Britney Blackout or just music her and her friends would like listen to in their fucking like Jeeps in high school. Like that was like, I would like be like, oh, y'all are so cool. And like <laughs> listen to it all. So and where are you from? Saint. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's oh, going to get worse. You guys are like twins. Yeah, we are. It really is the parent trap. <laughs> um, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. Love, yeah. love it. I was growing up in St. Louis. It was, uh, it's interesting. I always thought it was like just like a normal everyday run of the mill place. But the more I've like traveled and like I've lived in LA for like about three years now, the more I'm like, oh my God, my hometown is crazy. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. It's every time we go back to Long Island, you just have to set foot in a CVS and you're like, this place is crazy. It is crazy. It I is like love it though. CVS it's a really CVS. Yeah, it. Oh my God. I, I love, I love St. Louis, but like I feel like the past couple times I go back, it's just like, like tweaker vibes mm. but i love it like yeah. i at one time was very tweaker vibes if you've been following me since mine i don't know if you remember my twitter when i would like go on dr like drunk rampages and like beef with like random artists i, I literally I do it. yeah i'll always respect it like that was tweaker vibes right but so, that's like, what you need we yeah. need that in our lives you were born in 96 right mm -hmm. so so are we so oh i feel like God. we have found that out i was yeah shocked all so the same all cultural touch Yeah, we have the I same think, like touch points on things. Yeah, which, and I, th I have a sister who's five years older. Andrew oh, also has an older sister. So yeah. same so thing. Like all, the trickle down. It yeah. makes a lot of sense to me as to why. Effect is. Were you a good child? No. Okay, okay. love to hear no, it. No, I just was like, my grades were like horrible. Okay. Everyone my whole life like told me I had like learning disabilities because I was like such bad grades. Okay. I think I graduated high school with like like a 1.5 GPA, like something that's like astronomically terrible. That's honestly admirable. Like I had 25. like a, yeah, like I had a math teacher who was like, you shouldn't pass this class. I never want to see you again. So I'm just going to give it to you. And he's like, but I want to, I want you to know that. And I was like, Okay. I respect those teachers. Thank you. The you guys have been friends since you were like really little, right? Four. That's Four so old. cute. I saw something you posted. I was like, that is like actually precious and very rare. Yeah. People it's... don't have friendships that that's like some 1950s shit. People don't like when we were little boys, yeah. like that's like not like people don't have that anymore. And it's like we like since we were four years old, like truly hung out every single yeah. day. Oh it my is, god, like a, that like it's makes me cry. Dynamic where, That's like, so cute. Were you a product of the Disney Channel? Yes. Yes. I was really I like wanted to be on Disney Channel. Yeah, I would like yeah. in St. Louis, I would like go online and go on like open casting calls for Disney yes. Channel shows. And I'd be like, Mom, and she'd be like, You'll never get on that. Like, just give it up. And I'd be like, Okay. Like there, when the commercials, like there used to be commercials. Oh my god. Calling like, all child yeah. actors. I'd be like, it's Florida. Disney Channel actor. Yeah. Looking back, that's like so creepy. They're so like, all creepy. of you little kids. <laughs> Come on down. And and like, was, like, uh, we're like, yes. <laughs> I think that our big thing too is like watching the Disney Channel and listening to the music of people saying like wanting to be famous, Hannah Montana being famous. Like, did oh it create God. something in yes. you that you wanted to be famous? Absolutely. Yeah. And I, I maintain like I shouldn't even like speak on it like this because like I ended up becoming an artist. But I feel like Hannah Montana, yeah. what that did to like little girl brains, like mm. everybody wants to be famous now. Like nobody wants no. to be doctors, nobody wants no. to be lawyers, no. nobody wants to be a nurse. <laughs> Everyone's like, my new song, like like the song of the summer on TikTok. It's like crazy. It's, it really, I feel yeah. like, and I I'm definitely guilty of that because I remember watching Hannah Montana. I was like, wow, like she has the best of both worlds. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you're like, but I am just an ordinary girl. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I'm, lazy. I'm lazy. I get bored. <laughs> it's like, yeah. well, actually, what made you interested in music? I was really into music and singing. Like I I had stage fright, but I was I would always like practice singing. I when I was in high school, like joined choir. And just like loved it. I loved singers. I loved Beyonce. Like I, mm. in my free time when like no one was home at my house, I would like put oh on instrumental God. versions of songs, yeah, and I'd same. be like, yeah, that I'm was like, this is that. So yeah, yeah. You sound like you're like throughout the yeah. house, no one's there. Yeah, singing beautiful. like I Care by Beyonce, just yeah. like random. <laughs> I just loved it. I loved like pop music and pop culture and tour DVDs, like the Monster Ball HBO special. Oh, right. Like I Am Sasha Fierce World, World Tour, like the, the body suits and the everything. Like I just, I wanted to be a pop star so, so specifically. Like mm -hmm. it wasn't even just a musical interest. It was like, seeing like Britney Spears like perform on the VMAs, like that is what yeah. tickled yeah. me. What you did with like your debut sort of like really was, I think you were kind of like one of the first people to do it, like really leaning into the early 2000s. Oh, yeah, I feel like, 
especially early on, like me and like collaborators of mine, whether it was like Aisha Erotica or like that yeah. kid, like we all, when I look back at that time, I feel like we all really were early on something. Cause to me, when people are like super Y2K now, I'm always like, oh, like you're kind of like late on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now I feel like I see, like at the time, I feel like everyone hated on me so much or like whatever, but like I really do see, not to like be annoying, but like I see like, influence in other people sometimes yes. or with other aesthetics or just like everything all rolled into one like the hello kitty and like everything like i see it like a big boom of it happened and it i think we were all my whole little like internet group was like kind of onto something were you guys like umphi is is that how yeah. it really i i didn't meet spencer in person for a while i i uh, didn't meet Aisha in person for a while, but like we were all just like followers and like worked together through On the internet. On what platform? Like, how did you guys connect? I think Twitter. Okay. I'm a I'm a Twitter girl. Like, yeah. I love Twitter. Twitter's always been my favorite. Twitter's the one that for me that I actually like am the worst at. Really? And I like got logged out of my account in January, and no, I can't log I back in. Go- you were bad at Twitter. I was getting good at it, and then literally I forgot my password, logged out, and, and no one over. works there anymore, so you can't reach yeah. out to a help desk. So it's Damn, just that's permanent. True. My last tweet is me being like, I haven't smoked weed in two weeks and my like, life is crazy and that's literally everyone's the last like, thing I ever see on Twitter. It's kind of true. Mm. It's true every couple of weeks. Every two <laughs> Every weeks. two weeks. Every two business weeks. Yeah. yeah. I have to ask you about Tumblr. I like, oh, like yeah. I, I was raised on Tumblr. Like that was my entire like high school experience. That was like the most like fulfilled I felt by like a social media platform and I've never gotten that since. Same. Since it like kind of died down. And they've like tried to redo it. I feel like there's been other versions of it that have happened. Mm-hmm. Like nothing will ever compare to those years on Tumblr. Like the yeah. community the art people yeah. were making. Breadsticks, don't act a fool, and eat them before they cool. Like, oh my god, I remember towards the end of Tumblr, I had switched my account into more of like a kind of vapor wavy aesthetic blog. That makes so and much I sense would real. curate, yeah, I was really into curating the images and how they look together, and I feel like it ended up helping me like be like a mood boarder and with like the visions of like music Mm. and tying music to visuals do you like do you remember it would always be like photos of like a girl in a pool but like it looked really cool or it'd be like a tennis court but it was like really artsy everything was very checker grid happening checker grid or like a plant like all the vaporwave aesthetics like were really cool it'd be like japanese script over like a picture of the sunset like it was like i don't know it was always such a vibe and i just loved I loved having a blog. It was really nice. Yeah. To this day, I feel like there are, like, influences of that in all art. I feel like just, like, even, like, the the artist trajectories that happened on Tumblr was so specific to, like, alt-pop girls, like Marina and the Diamonds and Lana Del Rey. Like, Mm -hmm. if you were a Lana fan on Tumblr back during that time, like, oh, my God, what a time. Like, the GIFs, everything with, like, the photo, like sets of everything Mm -hmm. people were like creating like universes within albums where i feel like now everything just feels so like throwaway like i remember born to die was like what a universe people would have whole blogs with images that had nothing to do with her that felt like in that world yeah like a peach and like three cigarettes yeah the the cigarette in the rose yeah like exactly (laughs) yeah it was just i don't know it was such a cool time like visually it was so visually stimulating it was i missed out on so much culture by not being on tumblr really i I, like Um, lived tumblr through through me yeah i'd be like like, this is what's happening tumblr mutuals Joe my favorite thing meet, to do yeah, always was it's meeting yeah. Rachel. I was like 15, being like mom. And then like, I'm, like, I'm bringing Andrew. I'm, like, I'm coming. It's my oh bodyguard. My yeah, literally. That's if so something funny. was happening, I would run. I never had like Tumblr friends like that. I always had Twitter friends, but never Tumblr friends like that. I was more like fandom oriented, oh, less aesthetic. I see. Like I was on the Hunger Games fandom Tumblr. That was my my situation yeah Yeah. so that's where like the real friendless losers found each other online and it's like these are i'm like still like some of them i'm still literally (laughs) friends it's so nice for us no i was one (laughs) of them i was literally one of them (laughs) tumblr was such a time i feel like when i still have twitter friends from like way back in the day that i'm like cool with that it's like so funny like everything that's happened or like seeing other people there's like people i knew from twitter that have also had success and like music and it's like so mm-hmm. wild to the internet's just so crazy it is. yeah in your place now after four years of being in the like being an artist what's mm-hmm. it like going back home and like um, seeing friends i love it i love i'm like not someone that has like any kind of like weird like 
I don't like my I love St. Louis. Yeah. I love my friends from back home. It's never really I feel like I don't get treated like that different. Okay. No one really cares. Yeah. Yeah, like what I do almost place. seems yeah. like this non-tangible like I'm not like a movie star. Like yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? No one's like gagged by me right. that crazy. But it's nice to go home. Yeah. I feel like there's a bit of awkwardness. Like it's like humiliating almost like coming home and like my sister's friends are like, How's the music thing going? Are you having fun? It looks <laughs> so good. Nothing humbles yeah. you more. Yeah. You're and like, I'm just right. like, and I'm like, yeah, it's good. Like <laughs> yeah. it's so yeah. embarrassing. Yeah, it's very similar. They're like, Oh, you have a podcast? We're yeah. like, Yeah, we, we do. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> They're full time thing, actually. Like, they oh, don't that's yeah. sweet. That's really sweet. <laughs> like, what's your backup? Yeah. Like, yeah. What's your plan? Yeah. They like have husbands and kids. And they're like, oh, that's oh. fun. Like <laughs> Yeah. How is that for you? I mean, like, we're all the same age. Like, yeah. people are getting married. People are having kids. It's we're going wild. to two weddings of two of our closest friends this, like, summer. How it's is like, that? That's crazy. It's a mind fog. Yeah. I'm like, oh... Okay. I feel like there's like, <laughs> yeah, everyone's on some different pages here. Like, I didn't get the memo that like, we have kids now. No. I should be pregnant. I should have had yeah. a husband. I could be home. I could be making food. I could be on the farm. <laughs> but instead I'm like doing this and like at 26, I'm like clawing my way, trying to like yeah. do something with this music thing. And there's always like part of me that kind of like wishes I had what people from like the simple life. Of course. Was. I would like to talk about Webkins. <gasps> Yeah, okay. Yes. I just like had a gut feeling that that would be. Yes. <laughs> penguin Girl 888. Really? That was Were my you a user. Penguin Girl? I loved Penguin. Same, same as the Penguin Collection. I did. I love, I'm like a big animal person. Okay. I love orca whales. It's my favorite animal. They're unionizing. But they are unionizing. They're organizing. And they should. Yeah. They should. It's crazy. That could be a different, that, a whole different thing is me talking about orcas. Do not me, get me drunk at a party talking about orca whales. <laughs> no, I kind of I, that sounds that. like a dream come true, yeah. <laughs> I did a podcast about orca whales, actually, with like a researcher one time. Wait. We got into it, yeah. That, I'll, I'll be tuning in. Like we will be linking. It was my dream. Yeah, if I was smarter, if I was smarter in school, I'd have been a marine <laughs> biologist. I love whales. But Webkins, I love, I loved Webkins. How many did you have? Do you remember? Maybe like... Maybe like ten. Yeah, that's I had what like I, had. I feel like I had like a normal normal size collection. I remember being pissed. I was like the poorest like girl in my grade. And there was this one mm -hmm. girl who had like thirty, mm -hmm. and her, I was just like, "You bitch, Darcy! Like fuck you, bitch." Joe, let's talk about bitches. Yeah. Joe, no. how many webkins do you have? I don't want to talk about <laughs> how many? Did you have like fifty? No, just drop the just drop the number, Joe. I feel like the number changes every time I, I misplace one of the numbers. The numbers. But I think like, it was like a like hundred and eighteen webkins. You spoiled brat. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he was the goodest child. He was like, I love kids. Oh, my God. It was, God. like, my only, it was, like, you my, just had every single, my like, hyper species. fixation at yeah. that time. Like, it was just before I got onto Tumblr, which is mm. also sick. It was, like, from I jumped from webkinsinsider.com to tumblr.com, but I was, like, I spent, like, five years obsessing over webkins. Uh. Yeah. It was like your exhibit. Like I don't know why my parents bought me that many, and I lost all it's of like them somewhere. Almost. I it's think like, they're yeah. under like, my bed. Still, my dog used to like get into them, and it would I would lose my mind. Okay. So they were all like very precious to me, and he like, like they were alive. Yeah, yeah. Yes. he like went to he like ripped up my like what was like the platypus thing called? The it's Googles. called like the Google. Yeah, he like yeah. destroyed my Google. And I remember I cried for like three days. He also destroyed, it was like a Westie dog. He destroyed my Westie webkins. And I was like, you little bastard. He, your own kind. Yeah, well, he was taking up the killer. competition. Yeah, he was he's like, hold on, I'm the real one here. Yeah. <laughs> but I let my senior quote was, this is so embarrassing and weird, but my senior quote was like, welcome to the curio shop. Hope you found what you're looking you're for. You're fucking up. kidding. I don't know why. That's not embarrassing. Wait, that's, that's amazing. amazing. Is that public random? knowledge? I don't, is you out could, there? If you like go to my high school, you could find that I'm going to take a trip to St. Louis. This is it. I need a picture of that. It. Yeah, I need to find it. Were you Club Penguin? I did love Club Penguin. I, I love the that pizza was game. A, a gateway to being online was yeah. Club Penguin. I would go on Club Penguin and try to like curse and say like dick and balls. Like it was before they like started censoring. Yeah. yeah. I just remember like trying to be like like say like balls. Like I don't know really? why. It was like the first. It, it was the first time like talking to strangers <laughs> online, and yeah. you just happened to be a penguin during it. But that <laughs> to was be like, like nine years old, being like "fuck" on a penguin before <laughs> they started ball, ball, censoring. Ball, ball, yeah. ball, you would type it weird so like you could yeah. like get it. Yeah, those were very pivotal to me. I think. Mm -hmm. I think that Webkins taught me how to like honestly start a family. Like if I <laughs> if I needed to, I'd be ready to raise a great 118 mother. kids. Yeah. Penguins. Yeah, penguins specifically. Mm -hmm. I had I had a very large penguin collection. Really? That was my like March of the Penguins. Was, you too. 
Um, I love Penguin, March of the Penguins. Happy Feet. I loved Happy Feet. Happy Feet, which is shockingly, I learned later in life, is like really like a Christian film. Is it? It's like yeah. all about God. I thought it was about like look. environmental disasters. I, I think it's a combination of about God. Really? Yeah. Yeah. All my like biggest takeaway from that movie is like what a loss that the world never got a Britney Murphy album. I yeah. was her literally vocals. Gonna bring her up. I that is like one of my favorite all time like comfort movies, Uptown Girls. I love Britney Murphy. Yes, same. Like I remember being younger and being like actually really upset when I found she passed away. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, like that, like her, like the somebody to love. Oh my god, so talented. What a vocal, her vocals were so good. She really was a star. What was your like? fashion goals what were your like favorite stores of like a high school moment like where were you focusing your attention i uh, i had like really wacky wonky style i was obsessed with tumblr as you know but i just was not executing it in a way that Mm -hmm. was right i loved like i had like galaxy leggings yes Uh what do you see next in terms of aesthetic trends i feel like you're kind of a forecaster for it forecaster i think everyone is like really about the indie sleaze what which is like it was so like cool until like right now i'm kind of like all right you know what i mean anytime something Mm -hmm. has like a like name for it and becomes like too tangible it's just like when people started calling that music, that style of music that I was a part of, hyper pop, everyone was like, ugh, get out of here. Yeah. Like, it's over now. Like, right. you ruined it. You know what I mean? I feel like that's happening right now. But after this, I really think like Desert Babe, that era of Tumblr, Ooh, like, like Desert Coachella. Babe, Lana Coachella, I feel like that's going to be really big. The kind of bohemian, that makes I sense. see like Desert Babe vibes. Like, when people would have like the American flag, like high waist shorts to studs, like, I feel like all of that. Is going to come back in its own way. It already kind of started, has started to a little bit. The way that the American flag was the most important accessory to a wear. person right? could own in 2013. Or the flower crown. Like yes. that has been cycled out of fashion for a really long time. I see the flower crown returning. I'm so ready for it. Me too. I'm so so I miss when girls crown. would like take their like Tumblr pictures and they'd be like, Yes, we need that bag. I love it. That's like the next album Put the album feather cover. in your hair, yeah. The, those little feather extensions. The Kesha feathers, yes. Kesha the did influence feathers. that she one. She did. I had them. I, I yes, wanted one. Yes, yes, I still have it. <laughs> <laughs> I loved her, yeah. She really, yeah, she changed lives. That's she like did. a major influence, I think, on my early music. Kesha? Yeah, just because yeah. she wasn't afraid to be like the butt of the joke in a way. Like, she wore, like, a garbage bag to the VMA. She was just, like, mm. funny, and she was like, yeah, I get fucked up. Yeah. And, yeah. like, and it was sick. And she really sing. Like, that yes. really, too, like, that's what was shocking to me. When with, like, Rainbow, Rainbow dropped. When Rainbow yeah. dropped, I was like, wait, she actually is a powerhouse singer. Rainbow yeah. changed my life, by the way, too. That was the album that I was like, I'm coming out. Yeah, unfortunately for both of us. That's really? What it was yeah, Rainbow. It was, it was Rainbow. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, figuring out that she can sing, coming from TikTok to that, I was like, good for Kesha. Right. And she owes, someone owes her a check so, for TikTok of it all. Absolutely, the yes. spelling. The spelling Come on. is exactly the, spelling. the same. Yeah. Where is that check? Where is that check? Were you a Gleek? Are you gonna cry? Yeah. Why do you have to ask? Like, I don't want the world to know. Yes, I, I was for like the first. Like, I remember I was watching it as it was coming out. Like, I would watch the first Same. season with like my family. I was really mm-hmm. into it. I was never like in the fandom of it. You weren't like buying the loser. Like, me. I was buying the CDs. Okay. Okay. You got me. <laughs> so you, you were, got me there. So you're like, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> so, <laughs> you were at the Glee World tour. I was not, but I did. I like loved it up until a certain season. There's like, there's like seasons and cast members that like I don't even remember. There's a mark, like a markable shift in the show where yeah. everyone stopped watching. Yeah. I, I stayed there. I kept going, but I didn't watch when they like left high school. Like I remember there was like a Turkey Lurkey episode that I never saw, yes. and I saw it online one time, like going viral on Tumblr. And everyone was like, "Girl, what is going on?" And yeah. I had never. It was like Sarah kiki. Jessica Parker. Yeah, it was Sarah yeah. Jessica Parker. Turkey lurkey time. Let's have a kiki. Someone was like doing like acid. Like, I'll never forget it. Yeah. Like, was that they moved to Bushwick. Bushwick. Yeah. It's literally Kurt <laughs> Kurt and Rachel moved to Bushwick. Oh my Kurt God. Kurt is working for Sarah Jessica Parker. And in like a $4 million apartment. Yes. Yeah. But it's like in the show, they're like, this small place. And they're like, 
oh no, we're in Brooklyn. Bushwick. <laughs> yeah. And then literally, let's have a kiki happens. I'll wow. never, for, I'll never forget that moment. Who was Sarah Jessica Parker in, in all she of that? She was kind of like the Anna Winter of it. She was like oh. the fashion editor of it. She was the turkey lurker. Yes. Mm -hmm. She but. was, she was the let's have a kiki. Oh, she was the kiki. Actually, girl. Leah Michelle was turkey lurking. But she Sarah does. Jessica Parker was. Let's have it. You've key. never seen Imagine it. She goes. Imagine telling like a Victorian person these terms. <laughs> if they heard any of this, they would their brain would explode. It'd explode. <laughs> You're like, no, she Lee was Michelle the kiki. She was the kiki. <laughs> she was the, she was actually kikiing. She was turkey lurking. Got it. <laughs> because the full context is Rachel Berry was dating an escort, and she was freaked out about that. She had just found out she was having right. a panic attack. Yeah. Um, she was like, I want to have a nice Thanksgiving dinner, <laughs> and then. Kurt was working for Sarah Jessica Parker, and she was like, the clubs are closed. I'm coming over. We're having a party. We're going to lock we're the gonna doors have a tight. tight. <laughs> and then there's a shot in that performance where Leah Michelle just goes, hunty. And it's <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> There was like a YouTube video of it. It's like Leah Michelle saying hunty for 10 minutes straight. And it changed. Like, I'll never forget watching the whole 10 minutes one oh, day. I'm going to watch that when I leave here. You today. need, I need to. to. like fully. We have to put it hunty. into the episode. Yeah, <laughs> hunty. And just like this. Yeah, I was like a closeted like theater fan. So I feel like Glee really tickled oh. a certain part of my brain. Yeah, you're, you're talking right to the right people. Right, like you're I feel like in the, in the music that I do and like the party culture, I feel like it's not very cool to me for me to be like, I love cabaret. But yeah. I do. Yeah. I really do. Duality, you Duality, know, yes. you have it all. I love. I've like. I'm just like. I love theater. Was I would cabaret love, the one for you? I would you ever no, do theater? I, I mean, would. I would love. I would yeah. love. My dream role would be like Legally Blonde the musical. Yeah. Like I love Stop. Elle Woods. I remember seeing the Search for Elle Woods, and I was like, oh, I want to be in that. Stop. Um, I am Laura so Bell Bundy. Much oh my and God. before. Can you like that note? Just hold that note at the end the entire time. And before. Yes. I love that. Ugh, I love the. Yeah. I would totally do. Musicals, yeah. I'm like a very like I have like old timey like gay syndrome of like I like love like Liza and I yeah, love Judy. Yes. I was like I love The Wizard of Oz. I love yeah. There's this like outdoor theater in St. Louis called the Muni, and my grandparents would always take me and my sister to like whatever the summer show was. So I saw a bunch of shit. Wow. Yeah. I would never ever clock you for like being even remotely interested in theater. So you do a I good job it. at you hiding it. it. Yeah. Oh, well, we really we're releasing this. So <laughs> Yeah, I feel like my out. my album like Belladonna, it's all I feel like you can There's you can theatrics. tell the theatrics. Yeah, yeah. Like my shows, I feel like I try to keep like a bit of like theateriness to it where it's not just like like I can't stand a performer that in between songs their banter is very like, well, <laughs> So this next thing, like I like yeah. when people have drama to it. And I'm like, yeah. everyone, like if you want to, like you know what I mean. Yeah. Like Gaga pulled that off so well. Yeah. I feel like you have to like have an air about you. What gave you the confidence to do that? Because I think that require is like a level of performance yeah. and confidence that some people just like don't. are lacking. I don't know. I just I love performing. That's like my favorite. Did you do like theater as a kid? I never was in. I was always too embarrassed to do musicals yeah. because like the theater kids at my high school were bizarre. Yes. I remember being so crushed because they were doing Singing in the Rain when oh. I was a senior. And I in choir I would always get the music like the solos for like our choir things. Like mm -hmm. we would do like showcases of musicals but not actually do the whole play. So like I would get like the wicked solos and I was like I know I could like get like a lead in this but I'm just not mm -hmm. gonna do it. I don't wanna like be around these freaks. Yeah. For a right. Months. No <laughs> listen. Unfortunately it's <laughs> true. Oh uh, because I was in like a rebellious phase. I yeah. was like, you know, I was like, I'm too like I cool. smoke cigarettes. I can't be right. Yeah. yeah. So I And but, then you look back on it and you're like fuck I, I know. Done I feel it. like it would have taught me a lot and yes. would have been like a fun like intro to like, you know, acting and drama as like mm -hmm. a young a, a young one. It what it is getting over the shame of it. Like if if I but if I ever had a child, that. I'd be like, you should just lean into this from day one. Like yeah. it's right? easier because to first just of all, lean in. They seem so happy. The, <laughs> the happiest kids in high school are the theater kids well, that all have each other. But they they're don't also care. all out for blood. Yeah. Like that's the other side yeah, of that community. Is. I was a, an assistant director to shows because yeah. I was too ashamed to go onto to the stage. On, yeah. So I was just holding the script and judging the whole time. And I was like, I could do every one of these roles better. But those kids it was the scariest environment I've mm -hmm. ever been in. Like between stage crew kids who are like literally mm -hmm. fucking the whole so time. Horny. The whole yeah. time yeah. they are there. There was a couch above my high school yeah, auditorium like, where wow. there was a bucket of condoms and a couch for the stage crew kids. 
that oh? like was just excessive. Yeah. It was in the ceiling. That is sick. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. sick. And Horny sometimes kids. I'd be like, I'm gonna go up there, you guys. Like, um, I probably just like take pictures on like yeah. my like Samsung and be like, oh okay, God. I did I, it. Me and Sarah are gonna go up there, guys. You're Stop. Just gonna get up there, you're, you're like, what's up? <laughs> That's we're, crazy. We're having, we're having, we're having a kiki. I'm I saying hunty for ten minutes straight. I lost my virginity. <laughs> I lost my virginity on the night of having like the Defying Gravity solo and Wicked, and like that to me is like the funniest. I was a senior. I was <sighs> I was 18. And it was called like Best of Broadway Taste of Jazz. Yeah. And I was we- I was like I was like so- overweight. I like was wearing like a green sequin dress. It was mm-hmm. a totally different me. But I had the defying solo gravity and she was really feeling her oats because like she I was. I like lost my virginity. You that wait, gravity that's that night. actually <laughs> an amazing situation. That's why I'm like, I'm so excited for the wicked movie. I'm like, yeah. oh. it's bringing you back everything for you. Was yeah. this you were Alphaba? Yeah. Of course, yeah. Green and the solo that makes sense. Mm. I had that solo. It was great. Everyone was pissed about it. I'm sure. I'm sure. That's the dream. Yeah. Me yeah. and Andrew have been fighting for like months now about which one of us should be Alphabet and which one of us should be <laughs> our, our live show, we had the, the conversation. And it was and humiliating. The, really? the only reason it was humiliating. It was humiliating. People for, weren't on your side. For, yeah. Damn. So, because like, I think that like, general vibe i would be glenda and you would be alphaba right 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 I but it's that. like but you do have the i just love, i know this is giving glenda in the moment I, I but i was the, the weird for, one like i was mm, the yeah. one who was i was on tumblr i didn't like have friends i didn't socialize andrew like actually like had a life was like the the jock if you will really yeah i was like class president captain, oh my god i was he was yeah, glinda was, like through yeah. and through and i was like reading books in the library alone with no so friends you at were, lunch you were, yeah. but i just want that note you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just you want that note. And we like we're like, you guys clap if it's I said like, okay, we're gonna pull it up to a poll. Like, if you think I'm Alphaba, clap. If it was <laughs> not silence. A, it, it, was it was like so silent. Three hundred people. Like, yeah, it was like some people were like, <laughs> you're like <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, shut the fuck up. Like, and then they're like, clap and like girl, we are. I'm like, clap if you think I'm going to be alphabet. And I was like, it was uproarious. Oh I was like, God. stop, guys. I li- it it was actually funny. was like, it took me like five minutes on stage to process it. I was like, you just need to talk. You just felt like, done dirty by your own audience. Everyone in this crowd. Like. Damn. <laughs> but the fact that that actually led to a virginity loss is kind of amazing. Right? Yeah. It's crazy. Nothing in this world could bring you down. Nothing mm-hmm. in this world could bring me down. And it was also like the worst. It was like, it was like, Added after, you know, how like theater kids, like it's always like, no one's home tonight, like let's yes. have a party. And it was like in like an unfinished basement. Yeah. And it was just horrible. Mm. I just remember being like, this hurts. I don't yeah. like this. Mm. Get away. Get away. But you know, you gotta get it over with. I feel like every theater cast party leads to an orgy. Like that's yes. literally what happens. Yeah. And that might be the glee effect. That is the glee effect. Everyone's like, Wildly horny. What is Extremely that? Extremely really horny. horny. It's, it's always like the jokes, the like girls like... getting pregnant at like ba- when they go to like band camp or whatever, because there's just like a bunch of fucking. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. the creative energy. Yeah. It brings up the sexual energy, yeah. just like that. Okay. So we passionately care about you know like fast casual restaurants. That's very important to us. Mm. Was that important to you growing yes. up? Was that yes. Like like I feel like going to like a TGI Fridays was like the exciting thing to do. Oh, yeah. He's half. Half apps. Half apps. Ha- uh, that was like mm. my family at a restaurant like that. Like that was like our big, yes. our big night out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's amazing. So fuck, marry, kill, Chili's, Applebee's, TGI Fridays, and why? Fuck, marry. Mm. I'm gonna say kill Chili's because I actually recently had the gnarliest food poisoning from a Chili's in You're San Diego. Yeah. What did you order? Um, the honey chicken crispers. <gasps> Shut up. Yes. <laughs> They're good. It was, I was opening for, uh, Tuve Lu on tour. Right. How was that experience? Yeah. Incredible. I'm Except sure. for the food poisoning from Chili's yeah. in San Diego. Yeah. You still but on stage? Was that before or after the show? It was, I had it before, but it didn't take effect until after. Oh, I started getting God. cold sweats before, but then I was like, this isn't right. And then yeah. afterwards I like projectile vomiting, like in the hotel after. No. Yeah. So kill Chili's. Okay. Dead. She's dead to me. Mary, Mary Applebee's because it's an American classic, yeah. and like yes. what do you, and then fuck TGI Fridays because I feel like that's like they're kind of sexy. Yeah, I think of like Guy Fieri. Yeah, like I think yeah. of like Guy Fieri in the commercials. Like I love the Stop. potato skins. Oh. I want to fuck it the potato skins. It does feel the most fuckable. Fuck the potato skins. Do you know the the ClickBooks? Was that something? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Yes, I. That was like that was like my Harry Potter. That was That's like my. So fair. I was obsessed. I was obsessed with the click books, the movie that came out. I would read those cover to cover. I was obsessed. Okay, so then you know Massey Block, State of the Union. Of course. So we have the, the slate, slate of the Union. Is that what you get State of the Union from? Mm. Yes. Was the Massey Block? Yes. Ah! Oh my God! You guys yeah. are like my like sisters. Listen, from, like, sisters time. this is Slater's, Slater's Slate of the, the Union. Union. Number one, threads in or out. In. Number two, Y two K Renaissance. In in an elevated way. Later on, people mm. need to like ditch the dolls kill Y two K, like Roberto Cavalli Y two K. Yes. yes. Reading. Mm. Mm-hmm. Out. I'm sorry. I'm not a reader. I'm not a reader. Yeah, I think that we read enough on our phones. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, as horrible as it is. Because eyes say. can only do so much. Right? I'll like yeah. buy books for like the optics and for like the like home decor, but like I'm yeah. just. Yeah. Like, but Ashley and Tisdale, just like opening one. Yeah, like, taking a picture of it like I'm re- as if I'm reading Sylvia. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't give a fuck. Your eyes just linger on the same word. Yeah. <laughs> you know what book I did read that I do recommend? Spencer Pratt and Heidi Montag, or Heidi Pratt, How to Be Famous, incredible book. Highly that, recommend. Did that come out recently, it is or is old. that like It's like from back from in then. the day during their like real tabloid like yeah. circus yeah. era. Fascinating. Okay. They're genius. It's so camp. It's so funny. It's not like a real book. There's like lots of pictures, but it's okay, like beautiful. I really recommend it. Get it on okay. Amazon. It's good. Four cults. Um. Eh, eh. What like what kind of cult? We're like fishing for her to we're, say we're in. Like in. I think in. I kind I of love like cult mentality. Yeah. Like we were talking about berries. Yeah. I love the camaraderie of like as long as it's not like crossing the Unhealthy. real line of cult. Yes. Martinis. In. in. I like your martini. Dirty, filthy vodka. Yeah, I like exactly. kettle one. Kettle one, dirty martini. What kind of olive? Um, like if blue cheese olives, if they're available, but like. Any olive will do, okay. but I like extra olives. I'm like, a, I love yeah. salty. I'm just trying to drink olive juice. Blueberry milk nails. Heard of it? <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought you just had a stroke. <laughs> what did you just say? Blueberry it's milk like, nails? Yeah, it's this new fucking it? trend. It's like, no. people are like, it's like the new nail color is it's like blueberry the new, milk. Like, it's the new Haley. Yes, yeah. exactly. Blueberry, blueberry milk. milk. It's baby blue. Girl, we could have just started with that. Baby blue, <laughs> baby blue nails. People are just jump through hoops these days. Mm-hmm. Just to like write an article to but push I kinda, it around. The blueberry milk craze. It's like it's like a Tiffany egg like nail. Yeah. You're like, what? Okay. I love that though. Honestly, in like I like I kind of love. But how do you feel about the concept of branding it as blueberry milk? That it sounds a little foul, like blueberry milk. It's like. <laughs> I Icky. honestly would be interested in trying blueberry milk, though. No? Yeah, I would. Milk, I love, like, a blueberry milk. latte. That's, like, a big Ooh, L.A. flavor. Really? Next to, like, lavender. Yeah. Mm. We're big lavender I'm latte I'm funneling my, all my money into $8. lavender lattes right now. Mm. Yeah. It's unfortunate. You can imagine my embarrassment. I went to Europe on tour, and I was, like, like trying to order coffee and being, like, do you have, like, can I get, like, a lavender, like, latte? And, like... No, you, you, like, can't, what the fuck you can't. You can't get that. Like, iced lavender latte with oat milk. They're they like, only you have. Fuck yourself. No, literally, it's like no iced anything, only espresso. Yeah. It was great. Like it was sure. like the best coffee I've ever had. But I was just like, it's still no like lavender latte it's... <laughs> with my simple syrup. I remember like going to Italy la- when we got back from Italy last summer. I was like, I'm never gonna have anything but espresso ever again in my entire life. Right? And now I'm like, can I get a large Dunkin' iced coffee with four pumps of caramel and oat yeah. milk, please? <laughs> Influencer trips. Out. Did you see the Shein one? <laughs> <laughs> the subject of math. Oh, out. I yeah. hate math. I, I can't do it. I'm 26 Same. years old. If you ask me right now to do like a simple math equation, like six plus seven, I can't do it unless I use my fingers. It just took me a second. Yeah. I, have, I honestly seven, haven't eight, gotten nine, there. 10, 11, I like 13. 13. 13. 13. I said 11. <laughs> no, I, math is so out. I can't even begin to explain to you. It's like, we don't actually, need it. no, we don't. No. We have phones. Everyone we have calculators. Convinced. Exactly. No, if they, if we need math, what the fuck is a calculator for? Right. Right. Which is... In, sure. In. It's not really for you, though, it seems. It's not really for me. Okay. There's that like, makes sense. I'm, I'm not like a hate. I feel like I'm a really skeptical. I'm like a Virgo. Okay. And But Virgo even moon. saying that, I don't even feel very inclined to like believe horoscopes that much mm-hmm. or astrology even. Whenever people are like, oh, like I'll set an intention for you. I'm always like, 
Thanks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, like, <laughs> but like, please do. Like I'm I think if someone like loves and believes in something, that's great. Yeah. It's like I don't really it kind of freaks me out too. Like I, like after seeing like Skeleton Key with Kate Hudson, like I don't like to fuck with the things I should not do. Mm, yeah. I, th- I think when I was younger, this always, like, freaks me out. But I'll, like, talk about it because it's, like, to me, I'm, like, yeah, like, whatever. It's, like, not real. When I was, like, 14, I, like, Googled, like, how to sell your soul to the devil to, like, become, like, famous, right? Yeah. And I did, like, a ritual and I, like, waited. Like, you had to wait for, like, a thunderstormy day because there's, like, a certain demon. Like, I really, like, Googled, like, how you Stop. really do it. And I did it and I was, like, okay, like, whatever. Like, maybe I'll be a pop star. Ha <laughs> ha. And then, like, later in life, I'm, like, am I going to hell? <laughs> when I die, like, right? Like, yeah. I feel like maybe it it works but then also i'm like i was like a, like who knows who knows well i literally have done the same thing right yeah i would like type in illuminati contract and yeah. be like let's get to work like yeah. where, how do we do this <laughs> yeah. right i still would do it now like same. i don't know like <sighs> if the opportunity we'll arises we'll look it up yeah, who yeah. Join? lastly being delusional in yeah i love it i feel like it's the only way to be yeah. it's the only way to be Believe your own delusions but yeah de- being it. delusional got me here same. i was a receptionist being like one day you guys are not even gonna believe mm-hmm. how crazy it's gonna be. That's and my mom so was like, Girl, crazy. yeah, like, you know what I mean? I feel like being delusional just helps you. Yeah, oh, of course. Does your mom like, how's your mom's take on the music you make? She is like obsessed that I've like made it to where I am. Yeah. She at first was like really weirded out. She didn't love how vul- vulgar things yeah. were. Yeah. And I think in the early days, like press, press would ask me stuff like I was like a cam girl, and like I was like, she like found out things about my life that she probably rather would not have known. Right. But she loves it now. Like classic mom, she's like, I like your songs that don't have cuss words. Mm, but she's yeah. like, she's all for it. If anything, it's like annoying because she like thinks she knows what she's talking about with certain like. She's like, why don't you perform on the VMAs? I I don't want to help you. And I'm like, oh, let me let me make a call. Like what? Call the VMA. Or she's like, you should yeah, you should collab with like Lady Gaga. And I'm like, yeah, that would be that nice. Would be that would be awesome, wouldn't it? I'll like think about it. <laughs> like it's so like she just doesn't get like how I right, do this yeah. work. Okay, so Slater, it's been such a such a thrill having you here in the studio today. I had Thank so you. much fun. I this really was did. Fun. It was really like you guys are fun. Yours. A sister. Yeah, you're one of us for yeah. sure. I love it. Whether that's a compliment or an insult, it's up no, to you. No, that is but... a compliment. <laughs> um, okay, so what's up next? Where are you going? Where can everyone see you and see find me? you? I'll be on tour at the end, like in fall this year, all I'm around the saying. U.S. Um, my album Starfucker will be out, and I will just be promoting and tweeting my little heart out. September 22nd? Right? September 22nd. Okay. September 22nd album. And then I'm going to be touring, yeah, like, I think October, November. How exciting. Wow, so amazing. Exciting. Where can we find, where can our listeners find you on socials? At S-L-A-Y-Y-Y-T-E-R is the social and everything. Slay. Yeah, slay. <laughs> <laughs> That was great. That was amazing. I honestly think that she's my new best friend. Yeah, no, we have a little bit of a problem where we do think that, I think. I think And that. then I'm sometimes I'm like, are Does we being crazy? That? That's, that's what I wonder. I wonder that. Because, like, she left, and, like, now I feel, like, I'm like, a little sad. where is she? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, like, why'd she leave? We <laughs> later, like, are we hanging out later? <laughs> um, but that was so good. Was. I hope you enjoyed listening to the conversation as much as we enjoyed mm-hmm. actually having it. And if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to the family. Thank you for listening. Welcome to the Lamely. You can find us across all social media platforms at Good Children Pod. We're on Instagram. We're on TikTok. We're on YouTube. And you can find me on Instagram at Andrew Muscarella or TikTok at Andrew underscore M U S K Y. And you can find me on Instagram at J O E H E G Y E S or on TikTok at Be Quiet Joe. Sometimes I just like instinctively start spelling it. I haven't spelled it in a year, but I was there like, we are. Whoa. Yeah. Don't forget to do your homework. Like, comment, rate, subscribe, write that review, spread the good word. Spread that good word to your friends. Send it again. We say it every single episode. Send it to 25, 25 friends. friends. Just 25. Just 25. Because if you think about that, with our listener count right now, if you were to send it to 25 people, we would, we were all taking over the world. And I guess we'll see you next week for an, an all new episode. And nobody in all of us, no wizard that there is or was, is ever gonna break.